player streaking down the right wing. The pass, though, picked off, and up the ice come the Lightning. Two on one. Callahan, save, rebound. Oh, my goodness. Wow, what a save by Varlamov. Nice. Benson on two on one oh. coming in. Andy. Just head to the bench. Just <laughs> change. Where the puck is Johnson. Boy, we're getting a look at why the Lightning have scored so many goals. They are just relentless. Johnson shoots. That is blocked. Go. Pass across in front. He had Killorn going to the front of the net. Steele and Everberg going one on one and coming in. And the power his way in. He gets a shot of save. And Vasilevsky was looking behind him. He wasn't. Slam since their last game against Chicago. No Jan Hayda tonight as a defenseman. And that means Stephen Elliott is in. Lightning with the puck. Silkula shoots and Balamo slid across. He makes the save. And Morrow, he's he's on this club for his leadership. Steal made down the slot. Johnson shot score. Wow! Just that quickly. This is the line, Peter. You talked about before the game. Johnson and Pilat, two of the three members on that line, combined for the first goal of the game. And what they do, Mike, if you make a mistake, they jump on it so quickly. I would say as a group of three, probably the best line in the National Hockey League right now. I, I just get to back to one number. With the plus that they're going to get on this goal, Mike, the line itself right now is a plus 91 this season. Meaning they're all right in around plus 30 for the year, and this is the kind of goal that they score. Oh, Lightning up 1-0 on their seventh shot of the game. They've been peppering a Varlamov. Stamko, he shoots. And the save made by Varlamov, and that one off his stick. And that Varlamov handles the puck. Pokes it around. Palat stripped to the puck. Pass out to center for McKinnon. He's flipping through the defense. He's in the back end. He's going! And it's a 1-1 hockey game. McKinnon with his 10th of the season using his blazing speed to tie up this game. Mike, absolutely. This is good hockey ability, great backhand, but this is speed. Mike, he's coming down. He thinks that the defenseman's going to come across. Garrison's going to come across. So he puts the arm out and realizes that Garrison has given it because of the speed. Garrison's just keeping the middle. And he just throws it past the goaltender on the far side of the Avalanche. Like, get back into this game. This line has been so good recently for the Avalanche. Brown. Tyler Johnson. Seven wow. power play goals. Stan coach with nine as a two-on-one develops for the Avs. Blast by Landeskog. And Vasilevsky makes the save. Go oh, Canadians. The best defensive club. So, how about contradictions inside your division? Pass, holding one timer, knocked down by Vasilevsky. And then uh, back to the point. Gannon slides it across for Barry. O'Reilly shoots down. Nathan McKinnon, his second goal of the game. And the Avalanche are up two to one on a tip in front by McKinnon, his 11th of the year. Well, Michael, we talked about this line at the top of the show. And what an example of using the defensive core, but moving into openings. Great pass across to Barry. Look at that, Mike. That is so sweet by Tyson Barry. As he's coming back, you see O'Reilly, Mike, turning in the corner. O'Reilly does a great job to get open, but Barry in one motion, Mike throws a 50 60 foot pass. Time to go. That's the goal. That's after the puck. Long pass through center. Angles back into the lightning Mark zone. Kevin. Steal made. Shot score. <laughs> Hockey League, Mike, are going to, especially in the Western Conference, you're going to be going, uh oh. Because all season long, the young core, this Colorado Avalanche, have been frustrated. They've been working. I talked to Gabe Landeskog yesterday, Mike, just about the idea. The five goals in five games in, in a row. He said, I don't know what I'm doing different. Had a pretty good road trip here. Let's yeah. just go home. No matter what happens tonight, they're going home, going home over 500. And that's always the goal in any four or five game road trip, be 500. Shot and off the glove of Varlamov. 
he's going to get a must light plan against his buddy. I, I'm just going to say because he had the one goal. Yeah. It was a big one. Save, rebound, score. Tyler Johnson just snuck it in underneath the goaltender Simeon Varlamov to close the gap. Now it's three to two. And again, this line for Tampa Bay comes up with Mike. The, the Avalanche have the puck. Just the smallest of turnovers. They're in behind the play. And just Mike Johnson, who is a fascinating guy. You know, right? I mean, the things that I really like around the National Hockey League. There's a long pass across, picked up, went off the linesman. Saved by Barlamov, loose puck at the side of the net, and it comes free. Thank you very much, Julie. Power play opportunity for the Lightning. Zach Redmond, a holding penalty with the Lightning on the power play. Nobody's had more power play opportunities in the league than Lightning. This is number 215. Stars tonight just starting a game with the Minnesota Wild, and well, that's a game the Avalanche will certainly be keeping an eye on. From the point, puck chipped across, Sam Kels winds, cross ice pass, shot, juggled by Varlamov, but he's got it. Here's a breakaway from McKinnon. It's been a while for the Colorado Avalanche since they've had a hat trick. Nice pass across. And now, Mike, talk about scoring any which way you want. One in the backhand, two a tip, now a forehand, and he just, just rifles this one short side. Great shot of that goal right there by Nathan McKinney. So look up. And every time now Tampa's made a little push, the Avalanche have come up with a big goal in this hockey game. Nathan McKinnon, like, and wouldn't it be great if this was that two for two tonight? Pass tipped by O'Reilly. Johnson chopped at it. Back to the corner. Johnson in the slot. He drops, shoots, and Barlamov came out. Look out. And then a couple of days off, another road game against Dallas. Stamkos, what a move, but he can't get the shot. What a save by Barlamov. It looks like he had him dead to rights, Peter. Did McLeod hook his stick a little bit, Peter? Oh, oh, there was good pressure by the Avalanche, but Stamkos, how does this puck come back on net? It was pushed out front, and did Stamkos kick at this, Mike? That's the old shot by McKinnon, and they missed. Boy, he's having some game. He's on the puck again. Circle in the net. Centered. Shot by Holden. Flag down. Bouncing puck. And to do Duchesne for the trailer, the shot. And I caught the Schuster in the skate. Elliott dodging a couple of players, moves in, he shoots, kick save, and the puck grabbed by Kalorn. Pass behind the net. And up bite for Kalorn. Broken up by Everberg. The Avalanche forward cuts in, nice pass, shot, score! Two for the Avalanche. What a pass by Everberg. Absolutely great pass by Everberg as he just saucers it over the defenseman stick right here. Watch coming across, sees my oh my. That is absolutely brilliant. He had a little peek out of the corner of his eye. He saw Tangay cutting in right there. Just throws it across Tangay, drives to the net, picks up his 16th. But that is a just a terrific play. And Mike, that's that little confidence we were talking about. Mike, Mike that, that was nice. That was the third period. Well, we had the uh, five-minute majors given to Cody McLeod and Brian Boyle. Tip on net, and it goes in. And it's going to count. Brett Connolly gets his 12th of the season to make it 5-3 to three with 8.17 left to go. Boy, he just chipped it right in front of the net, Peter, just kind of floated over. Barlamo. They're going to have a look at it, I guess, but like I, I don't think there's any doubt it goes in. I don't think Conley touched it after right at, after that. 
But where was he as, as opposed to Semyon Varlamov? Yeah, he was coming into Varlamov, but the puck just sort of chipped up and over the shoulder. Right there. He never, he never touched it again, so it's going to be a good goal, but I think the Avalanche is saying, well, wait a minute. Now he didn't, he didn't really touch Varley until after the puck Mike had gotten over. Yeah, he got some time off, but they got the trading deadline before the next game against Pittsburgh here at home. In the slot, Johnson fires, and the blocker save made by Varlamo. Knocked it down. Everbird protecting the puck, but then Stamkos took it away. Nice pass in the slot. Shot off the glove of Barlamov. Scrambled for the puck. And it is not in. It stayed out. Blot, Hedman back to Palat. He winds. He shoots. Missed the net. Back along the near side wall. Pass across for Hedman. Settles the puck down. Pass to the corner. Johnson cross side. Score. Kucherov gets the goal with 102 left. And again, that tank egg no. looking even bigger right now. It's five to four. There's still a minute and two seconds remaining. So at the top, at, at the top of the show, Mike, we talked about the two big lines. And, and have they put on a show for that Colorado Avalanche, Landeskog, O'Reilly, McKinnon, three goals in this game. This line now, three goals in this game. Save, loose puck, and knocked down. One second left, and it's over. The Avalanche held on for the victory. Oh, it's exciting to have the last second, that's for sure, but the Avalanche get the two.